Hello there, YouTube! This is Green Ninja Productions here, and today I want to let you guys know something before we get into this video. The unboxing of this engine actually was. Actually, I never posted a video of me unboxing this engine. It's going to be right after this video. I'm going to post it, and I'm going to explain. Well, I just didn't have much time to post it to YouTube because I filmed it with my camera, not actually on YouTube. If I had filmed it on YouTube, then I probably would have been posted by now, but my YouTube was acting up back then, and so this is what I've done to the engine since then. That's right, this is the Hornby Thomas. If you can see, I gave him his NWR and his number one. I don't know what that is anymore. I just put that stuff there so I can fill in. Kyle Sharon Miller, what, what she does. She just... Put stuff. Oh no, no, Bear. I know, I know what this is right here, guys. Bearsford, I journey beyond Sodor. Last minute change. Last minute change. Okay, let's keep moving on, to Thomas. Now, now, if you look at Thomas, you see that he's in a darker blue livery than he actually is supposed to be in. He has handrails on his cab, and it goes all the way back here. Where I gave him a accurate lamp. And on the trains model, Thomas has two brake pipes on each end. Well, at least, I think on each end. And so I gave him two brake pipes on this side as well, on both end back. And also on it, Thomas has two Wellsing house pumps. At least I think that's what you called it. So I gave him two. And I also gave him the um, gold around his phone and the white handrails around his smoke box. And um, I gave him his yellow lining around his windows, his red line, his also more yellow lining and a red lining around the cab. Back here also got repainted. When I say back here, I'm not talking about um this entire part. I'm talking about the cab part right there. See it? Yep. And guys, let me just stay right there. I'll go get the smaller version of this Thomas real quick. Here is the smaller version of it. This is the Nakayoshi Thomas that I had. And I know you guys haven't seen it that much since. Um, this is the new one I got with the um, Nakayoshi Steam Team. I painted his ice cream. Oh, yeah, guys. Um, The only reason I got these Thomas eyes green is because in one of the Thomas and Friends anime things, they had Thomas having green eyes. It's the one, just to let you guys know what it is so you don't get the wrong one. It's a pic, it's the um picture of the video is Thomas and Diesel 10, not Thomas and Percy. So, as long as you don't get Thomas and Percy, because I've seen that one. I I look at the comments on there, they, people have been kind of mean to him. So, all I had to say to him was that he changed the models a bit and that um he replaced Percy and Diesel with Lady and Diesel 10. Nothing major. So, anyway, I think this Hornby Thomas is actually kind of good in my eyes. It's better than the old Hornby Thomas. And also, guys, if you guys want to try and recreate this, I really don't mind. Many people recreate lots of stuff, and I got to repaint his lining. Nope, never mind. That's how it look, That's only how it looks on camera. So, yeah, you can kind of see his green eyes showing. His whistle had to be painted around very carefully. And don't ask me how hard it was to get the R on both sides right. I'm just looking at it on the way it did. I remember back when I was more like a year earlier before the age I am right now. I was born in 2008 when um Great Race. No, not the Great Race. The Great Discovery season 12 and the Sherry Miller era first started. So that's why I'm coming into the um. That's why um I say when I was. People be complaining about the Sharon Miller era. I really don't find it that much, that bad because I was born around those times. If I was born around those times, then you already know I'm going to start watching that stuff more. Well, like some of you guys say, I'll probably find out when I get older. But guess what? It's, it's Thomas and Friends. You're not really the target audience. But whatever. There's a fan club, maybe. I'm not sure anymore. I'm, I'm, 
I'm not sure. The fandom, fandom, fandom. Sorry. Also, some um, trivia, guys. Some trivia. Well, I'll be right back with the next engine. Also, guys, this engine can disconnect from his tender, and he is Nakayoshi. I'll we'll throw that out there. Hang on. This camera fell off. There you go. Fun fact, guys. James is actually older than Thomas the Tank Engine. I actually never noticed this. You guys probably have known this. But James was actually built in 1912. And James, I mean, yeah, James was built in 1912. And Thomas was built in 1915. I actually thought James was way younger than Thomas, even younger than Gordon. I actually thought Percy was the youngest. Well, I mean, he is, I think. For now on. Well, back when the series, well, back in season one of the series. And two, maybe. But anyway, guys, I had never known that when I was um, younger. I never knew that James, the Red Engine was built in 1912. The only reason I know this thing because I was watching um Master of the Lemons um the Thomas and Friends guy who does Wooden Railway who's friends with Charles and Thomas Thomas Wooden Railway Enterprising Engine 93 that man is awesome well all the men's are awesome the men's I just mentioned and a lot more okay he, I was watching his fourth video called Old Souls. I think that's what you said. Old Souls. And they had Dennis sleeping. Here's the um, summary of the story. Dennis falls asleep and Jane, with it with Gordon Express and Pippin and Emma, and he's blocking the line and Pippin and Emma needs to come through. So James pushes Dennis out of the way, but James ends up falling. James um goes over to the works in Vickerstown, I think. Or Crowens Gate Works, which Colorado Railway is, and um, they find out that James had the old, the smaller parts of parts of James cannot really be that cannot really be found. They are going to have to machine them, but it would take a long time. So Edward tells the um engines at Tim Machete a ghost story about four little engines. If you guys want to hear the rest of the story, cause um, go watch Master of the Lemons. Cause I don't feel like telling yet. It's just a quick summary. And so um, Charlie spoils the end of the story. Blah blah blah. Um, Thomas breaks the safety valve. Percy goes on the branch line by himself. Meets the engine that kind of looks like Glenn. He tells him about the parts for James. Um, Percy tells Edward about the parts, and um, Dennis go. Neil visits Dennis, and Dennis go gets the um. The Crowman's Gate work main manager, Mr. Stone. And um they all Dennis, Edward and Percy, Sir Topham Hannah, Mr. Stone all go down Edward's branch line and then number three, the number three ghost engine shows them the way to go. And then they find all the parts for James. And so that's the end of the story for right now. But anyway guys, this is Green Engine Production. Hang on, before I go. Signing out and goodbye. Also, guys, yep. Cylinders. So